Taylor. Cheers. We're back. Cooking with flow. Um, I even deleted my previous stories so that I can fit more in. Last week, I did so many stories, sorry, that they started deleting at the front end, and that's incredibly embarrassing. So here we go today. Um, I really have nothing in the, well, I have things in the fridge, but um, today is the day that I use the cans that I bought a week ago. Yes, the cans that you have no idea what to use in, but you bought them because they'd last in your pantry for many, many years. Today, I'm gonna be using chickpeas in a can, tuna in a can. If you don't like tuna, I'm sorry, but I love it, so. Just don't watch this story. No, I'm kidding. It doesn't matter if you don't like tuna. So today, I'm gonna to be doing a similar, uh, I've already broken, yay! I'm gonna be doing a similar recipe that I did a few weeks ago. All of my veg is either halved or it's bruised. I'm not gonna be doing the exact same recipe, but I'm gonna be making some sort of veggie concoction, using up all the old things in the fridge, and then I'm gonna be putting it on top of some brown rice. Um, if you don't like tuna, don't worry. You can just put all your beans in, kidney beans, white beans, whatever beans. I can't use beans anymore because I... it makes too many people fart. So I've, I've given up on, on, on other beans, but chickpeas go crazy. All right, I'm gonna start with chopping up my funny shaped onion. Um, I have some very squidgy cherry tomatoes, too squidgy for a salad, I personally believe. So these are gonna go in with the onion, in the pan, all the juice is gonna get going, it's gonna be super tasty. Uh, I'm gonna have a sip of my drink, and then we're gonna go. Woo! I just realized of a tip that I remember. I weep so hard when I chop my onions, but I remember watching, I can't remember what show it was, but I remember a chef used to put a spoon in their mouth. You don't have to do it, but it basically makes you breathe through your mouth um, instead of breathing through your nose. If you breathe through your nose, all of the like acids in the air, I think this is correct, get all up in your capillaries and that's what makes you cry. Whereas if you breathe through your mouth, no tears. All right, I've got my cherry tomatoes and my uh, banged onion all in there. Um, pretty rough, doesn't really matter. It's gonna get all into the same sauce anyway. Now I'm gonna chop up my bruised pepper and maybe some carrots and we'll see what happens. I'm literally doing this recipe just like you guys will. Uh, it will be stuff that's coming out of my cupboard. So if there's any flavors that you know you love, if there's any food that you know you like, um, then try and locate those flavors and you can you can make your meal into something that you already love in a restaurant or already order from a takeout um, Cooking is really actually that easy. You just figure out what it is that you like and then you start cooking it. So any spices any uh, Proteins any veggies bung them in it's gonna be tasty uh, Already that looks and smells Amazing. Um, what am I going to do now? Oh, I am going to get my chickpeas. Um, yeah. Um, weirdly, this is the most satisfying thing for me to do in the kitchen. This and peeling carrots or parsnips. So satisfying. I have loved chickpeas from a really, really, really young age. When I was younger, I'll do that recipe another time, I would just put them in a bowl with olive oil and Tabasco and spring onion and salt, pepper, maybe half a chili, and it was the best concoction I'd ever made and I thought that I was the shit. Um, actually, when I make that meal now, I still do feel the shit. Pretty tasty. So before I put the chickpeas in, I just ever so quickly wash them in the can. Um, I tend to do this because uh, I don't like, I mean, I, I love that it's in juices, obviously, but I don't like the flavor of, uh, you know, canned juice. <laughs> so um, I just quickly rinse them under water and then I pop them in there and they're going to get nice and tasty. I'm going to salt and pepper right now.
So just like last time, I have a leftover jar of this tomato stuff. I'm just gonna throw it in because it's tasty. Nice little mum's trick. You're going to put a tiny bit of water in there, swirl it about so you don't waste any. Shake it. Ta-da! Boom. I've also got the kettle on the boil because I'm going to start getting my rice ready. I cook my rice with uh, some stock, whether it's chicken stock, vegetable stock. I'm going to be using vegetable stock today. Um, and I just use half a stock cube so it's not too salty. But I feel like it really gives it a nice bit of uh, flavor to some rice. Yeah, you can use that one if you want to. I nearly forgot this. This is a homegrown uh, elephant garlic. Now, I've been told that they can get and will get much, much bigger, but the seasons are changing and we need to start putting new things in the bed. So I'm gonna start using our um, elephant garlic. I've washed it, I just need to take the bum off. Um, and these guys go on and on and on and on and on. So even when you start chopping them, put it in a little box and then put it in your fridge and reuse it. But I will tell you one thing, they smell. going to do is I am one who loves to uh, soak and wash their rice before they cook. I never used to do this and then a makeup artist that I was uh, working with once, I was telling her about how I was doing my rice and she was like, when do you wash it though? And I said, I don't wash it. And she goes, what? They're so dirty. So that's when I started washing them. Um, same thing. It's going to have dirt around it so you may as well clean it. That's what I'm going to do now. So I'm gonna turn you off because I need to do it now. Okay, I've already done this video three times because I've made a fuck up of my words. So, right here, I have rice soaking. Um, I use a mixture of two or three brown rices. Um, and then over here, we have my vegetable stock cube that's just going away. And when that's melted, I'll put the rice in. Um, over here, we have that goodness just cooking away. And it's nearly there. We just now need to let it cook for a bit. Um, I'll see if there's anything else to do. Okay, this is wild albacore tuna uh, lime pole caught. Make sure that your um, that your your fish is caught like that. So I'm just going to pop that in here, or not. If you're not going to do that, come on, mate, get out. And then grab your spoon. Stir it in, break it up. Mmm, I can't wait to eat this. I'm so hungry. <gasps> Guys, it looks so tasty! This is a lovely song. Whilst I'm waiting for my rice to cook, I think you should all go listen to it. I'm gonna make another one of these. Oh no, I already did this video, but my phone went blank, I'm so sorry. So, um, I've just opened up my feta. I was gonna put Parmesan on it, and then I, I decided against it because I love feta. So I've just plated myself up with a bit of rice and a bit of um, whatever that goodness is. And then we are just going to, like I did last time, sprinkle that all over there. And it's gonna be well tasty. That's good feta. If you're in America, get that stuff, it's good. So that is chickpea, tuna, tomato, red pepper, onion goodness with some brown rice and topped with feta and make your signature cocktail and eat it. Happy Monday, everyone. Get cooking.